It's said that steel toe boots can effectively protect people's toes, but many workers believe that when a heavy object strikes the foot, the internal steel plate will curl and sever the toes. As a result, many workers refuse to wear steel toe boots at work. Back in the day, the Kung Fu Hustle landlord didn't wear steel toe boots when collecting rent, and as a result, his toes got crushed by a stomp. To verify this myth, Jamie spent two and a half days converting a guillotine into a foot-crushing device. A 110-pound iron plate is enough to turn an ordinary person's toes into mush. They initially wanted to recruit volunteer fans for testing, but but unsurprisingly, no one volunteered. What do you think will happen? Drop your prediction in the comments. So Adam melted down a toy doll to obtain a bucket of silicone and using his own foot as a model, created a foot mold. Pouring the silicone into the mold and cooling it for two and a half hours yielded a pair of realistic fake feet. To make them closer to the hardness of real human feet, Adam wanted to use chicken drumsticks and bamboo as foot bones, but found the hardness wasn't quite right. So he went to the back mountain and dug up his long sleeping grandfather to obtain a real human foot bone. No wonder the fortune teller said his grandfather would face a calamity at age 250. Adam then cooked the foot bone and integrated it into the fake foot, put on the most expensive steel toe boots available on the market, and dropped the 110 pound iron block heavily onto the steel toe boot. They discovered the steel toe boot only bulged slightly on the surface without any cutting action, meaning the toes wouldn't suffer serious injury. Next, they brought in barbell plates and increased the weight of the foot crushing platform to 440 pounds. When the heavy object struck the steel toe boot, there was obvious bouncing. The shoe's elasticity was truly impressive. The toe area still wasn't flattened, and the bone inside the fake foot showed only minor fractures. Fortunately, the foot bone remained connected to the flesh. Finally, they raised the weight to a height of 5 feet 10 inches to simulate the scenario of dropping a heavy object from a normal adult male's height. This time, the front of the foot was almost completely flattened and the foot couldn't be removed normally. So Jamie thoughtfully used an electric saw to help remove the boot. Inside, they found the toes severely crushed and the toe bones showing signs of fracture. Although the steel plate was severely deformed, it didn't sever the foot. So steel toe boots will not sever your toes and can actually provide excellent protection. Follow for more myth-busting experiments. But please, don't try this at home wearing your old canvas shoes.